Today I'm going to be playing this Druid deck based around Sheldrass Moontree comboed with Survival of the Fittest. I played a similar list yesterday, but it played a few too many expensive cards, played some unnecessary things like Battleground Battlemaster, and it also just played too many spells, I think. It seems good for a Sheldrass deck, at least one that's focused on a single card like Survival of the Fittest to play fewer spells. That way you can just play the Sheldress and then like the following turn you can still consistently go for Lore Keeper Polkelt to stack the survivals and play card draw. If you have a lot of spells, sometimes you play this and then you just draw a bunch of random crap spells the next turn. So yeah, lower curve, more minions. That's what we're going for here. Uh, the minions I added, I added a couple of sticky things with Nerubian Egg, sort of similar to our stealth minions, to guarantee some buff targets when we draw survival. Added some pack mules because copying survival buffs is really good. Loot Hoarder for a little bit of extra draw. All three of those minions I just mentioned also work with the Oracle of Elune, which is nice. I threw in a couple copies of Rustrot Viper for some minion-based card draw. And uh, finally, I added two copies of Arbor Up, because you do get three spells out of Sheldrass. We can only play two Survival of the Fittest. So I got the Best in Shells out of the way, and then threw in another expensive buff spell for some more power. I do like to see the overgrowth, and I like the tail in as well. Sneaky Delinquent is definitely a reasonable keep with the other two, but probably don't really need to keep it. Skulker is for sure better, I think. Easy Skulker on two. Alright, well, both players in this game are doing some wacky shit. I mean, if I can just find Polkelt, my hand is already, like, pretty much what it needs to be. Um, put this damage here, because I assume Talon's dealing three damage. Uh, drawing Sheldress isn't too bad here. That means Talon draws either Polkelt or a Twilight Runner. And either of those would be really good at this point. That is Lorekeeper Polkelt. I'd really like to just draw some stealth minions. Um, I have 12 mana this turn, so let's just play Nature Studies. Survival of the fittest. Oh no, I want Guardian Animals for sure. Guardian Animals is insane. They can cleave one of my... Uh, one of my things, unfortunately. Hmm, they actually cleared my board here. Oh no, they opted not to. 
Spellburst only lasts for a turn, right? I think this is the good positioning. Make sure the Twilight Runner can't get cleaved and uh, force them to make a choice on Oracle if they end up with another Reaper Scythe, which is the only thing worth positioning around, I think. All right, that does have Taunt, but I don't think that's too big of a deal. Rest in peace, Oracle. Alright, so the sequence here is... I guess it doesn't really matter the order on Sheldrass and Polkelt, as long as I play both. And then... I guess I just trade off Loot Hoarder, because I do need the card draw. Well I, am so grateful for that. I don't think I'm going to have lethal here. I mean, yeah, there's no way, because I'm only getting two attacks end to face. Probably have to double trade, actually, which is unfortunate. I don't think getting an armor matters at all. So next turn, I'm guaranteed to hit one of my two drops. Is pretty darn good for Oracle of a Loon. I can actually draw a two and then trade for a two. What now? And then still have seven mana to go Oracle double two. And even if it's like Guess the Weight, I do have Lightning Bloom. I also get two drops from these, but they're puny three ones. Heavy Plate. Oh, my opponent doesn't have a Brawl. Well, surely they're just dead, right? Nice. Not even close. Mage is always fun to play against. Uh, do I want two Overgrowth? Probably not. Keep one and then try to find Polkelt, Talon, Sheldris. Uh, looks like a turn three overgrowth here, which is nice. Uh, I mean, Arbor Up is just an insane card. Probably take it. Probably don't want to play Nerubian Egg next turn, because it just gives them spell targets. Love to see Sheldress. So Talon hits either Polkelt or Twilight Runner at this point, which is good. Control deck, by the way. This is not what we stood for. 
Maybe Twilight Runner was better than Talon here. Yeah, it probably was. Can't be targeted by spells immediately. And uh, I don't really need to draw into either of my five drops, like, this turn. I do love to see an early cram session out of the mage, though. It's very frustrating when that card draws four later on. Alright, play some card draw minions. My minions are frozen yet again. Um, pretty tempted to just play Shell Dress here. I don't really have that much time to sit around against Mage, but I guess I'm not under any particular pressure at the moment. Eh, whatever. Get another stealth minion in play. That way if my two unstealthed minions die and Talon draws Pull Kelt, then I can just go Pull Kelt, guess the weight, and have lethal. Looks like Talon will not be dying though. I might just have a nasty arbor up this turn. Uh, let's see what this can hit, I guess. Almost always less. Um, let's just pump out some damage. Double Bloom. Oh, there's a survival of the fittest. And that survival of the fittest is just lethal. Get wrecked. there. I guess the weight and Twilight Runner are both pretty good. Would be more than two more often than not. Unlucky. I'm getting tempoed.
I guess I can go Egg here since this is a one mana card. Don't want to waste the discount on it. Well, I guess this is a fine way to spend 5 mana. Twilight Runner was also pretty good, but dealing with the board seemed nice. Um, let's just play Shell Dress. Why wouldn't it be Netherwind Portal? Well, I've hit almost all of my cheap spells so far. So this should hit Survival of the Fittest or Arbor up pretty often. It's just a matter of actually drawing into them. But I do have Twilight Runner, Guess the Weight, and Rust Rot Viper. Let's go for more. Pretty bad. My opponent's got two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, I did hit that. Still can't really deal with the board at all, though. Oh, nice. Hit the arbor up so I can kill here. So my opponent needs three damage here, which means I'm not dead to Garot. Being not dead to Garot is pretty good in this matchup. Dead to that plus Garot. living oh man really pulled that one out of nowhere huh <laughs> 